During a substitution, a single base pair is replaced. This is also called a point mutation. Substitution mutations can have a wide range of effects on the amino acid sequence of a protein, depending on the location and nature of the substitution. Silent mutations do not cause a change to the amino acid sequence. If you look at this example, you'll see that each codon is CAT, and CAT is the codon that codes for the amino acid histidine. If a substitution mutation occurs to change one of those codons to CAC, you'll see that histidine still appears in the amino acid sequence. That's because there's more than one codon that codes for histidine. Silent mutations do cause a change to the sequence of nucleotide bases but they cause no change to the amino acid sequence in the protein. It's because they cannot be observed in the protein that we call them silent mutations. A missense mutation is when a substitution causes the identity of one amino acid to change in the protein. Here, we have the codon CAT, which codes for the amino acid histidine. If the substitution causes that codon to be changed to CCT, then the identity of the amino acid will change to proline. Missense mutations always cause the identity of one amino acid to change. Sometimes, changing just one amino acid doesn't cause much of a problem. But here, in the case of sickle cell anemia, changing this glutamic acid to a valine causes a huge problem and can result in a very serious disease. A nonsense mutation is when a substitution causes the creation of a stop codon. You can see here that the codon CAG codes for the amino acid glutamine. But if a substitution causes that codon to be changed to TAG, a stop codon is formed. Notice that this also makes the protein much shorter than it should be. There are three different stop codons that can be formed. But any time a stop codon is created, it's a nonsense mutation. You can remember that nonsense mutations form stop codons by remembering the phrase, STOP THE NONSENSE!